An appreciation of and love for water has been a constant theme at Longwood Gardens and is reflected in the numerous fountains, pools, ponds, and aquatic plants that are the highlight of the summer season. From the humblest of spectacles, like the elegance of the nearly century-old Sylvan Fountain in Pierce's Park, to the awe-inspiring illuminated fountain and fireworks shows in the main fountain garden, and from the simple reflection of a single water lily blossom, to the enormity of the fully grown pads of the Victoria Longwood Hybrid Water Platter, and its intense pineapple fragrance that fills the night air, there is no shortage of wonderment to behold both day and night at Longwood. The story of our water lily collection and incredible water features begins, like much of Longwood, with our founder, Pierre S. Dupont. My name is Calvin Randall, and I am pleased to have you join me on a personal video tour of the water gardens and fountains that embody Longwood. Our journey begins with an introduction to the fountains of Longwood. And then we take a look at the often overshadowed, more naturalistic water features that blend the worlds of horticulture and ecology that are inhabited by intriguing plant and animal life. We start our tour with the Sylvan Fountain. The Sylvan Fountain at the east end of the park was constructed by Mr. DuPont in 1925-27. to The tallest of its five jets shoots up 40 feet to punctuate the beautiful vista. It is said that Mrs. DuPont would turn the jets on from a push button when entertaining guests on the patio outside the house. Outdoor garden theaters were popular in Italy in the 17th and 18th centuries. It was a visit to the Villa Gori outside Siena, Italy in 1913 that prompted Pierre Dupont to build one at Longwood on the site of the old Pierce barn and barnyard. Inaugurated in 1914, it was redesigned and enlarged from 1926 to 27. Group dressing rooms for 100 performers are located beneath the stage, and the auditorium lawn holds 1,500 chairs for spectators during the summer season. The 68-foot wide stage is framed by clipped arborvitae, with Kentucky coffee trees and Canada hemlocks behind. An unusual water curtain rises 10 feet in front of the stage during performances, which include all types of music, dance, and theater, from folk, jazz, world, and pop, to Gilbert and Sullivan and Broadway musicals. When the weather cooperates, there is no more beautiful setting for an outdoor arts event. After some evening shows and during Christmas, the fountains are illuminated by lights hidden below removable covers in the stage floor. The Italian Water Garden, designed and built by Pierre Dupont from 1925 to 27, after visiting the Villa Gambaraia in the hills above Florence, Italy. Longwood's version sits in a hollow surrounded by tall trees, including formerly pruned little leaf lindens on each side. The Italian original has very few fountains, but here Mr. DuPont added 600 jets that recirculate up to 4,500 gallons of water each minute in six large and 12 small blue tiled pools edged with ivy. The rear rectangular pools are 14 feet longer than the front pools, so that they appear proportionately equal when viewed from the elevated terrace. Carved limestone and terracotta ornaments impart an old-world feeling, with spouting, gushing, and dripping streams, especially along the southernmost wall, creating the charming, cooling flavor of a classic Italian garden. At the southwest corner is a unique water staircase, where it is said that Mr. DuPont once posed his young nieces and nephews on the dry steps for a photo, then drenched them with cascading water, much to everyone's delight. A nearby rustic waterfall is supplied from the Sylvan Fountain in Pierce's Park as its water returns to the Italian Water Garden Pump House, only to be recirculated. This garden underwent a complete restoration in 1991 and 92. There is no more delightful place on a hot summer day. The Main Fountain Garden. This former cornfield was transformed into five acres of structured plants, sculpted stone, and illuminated water by Pierre Dupont and his staff from 1929 to 31, with refinements added until 1936. The garden was inspired by fountains Mr. DuPont had seen in Italy and France, and at various world's fairs, especially at Chicago's 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. When the full display is running, up to 30,000 gallons of water recirculate each minute through hundreds of fountainheads, scuppers, and spouts, with jets that rise as high as 175 feet. 
Only by walking through the garden can one enjoy the decorative water canals and cascades that some places churn noisily and other places flow quietly, but on sunny days always catch the light to create sparkling vistas. The fountain basins are made of Italian limestone with charming carvings of flowers, fruit, and wondrous land and sea creatures. Along the southern wall are a multitude of spitting masks, cascading shells, and spurting carved bouquets. Everywhere the shaded views encompass a bubbling landscape, delightfully cool on a hot summer day. The central vista towards the conservatory captures the iconic essence of Longwood as no other view can. The garden is edged with trees, originally maples, now lindens, that are trimmed into a giant cubed hedge. The main fountain garden has had three prior partial renovations, but beginning in late 2014, it was totally rebuilt in a two and a half year project that placed new mechanical, electrical, and computer systems underground. The carved limestone was completely restored. Exciting new fountain and landscape features were added, including a grotto, and vibrant LED lighting replaced the original incandescent bulbs. The $90 million project has no doubt been the largest fountain restoration in American history. Several evenings a week during summer's Festival of Fountains, the water is illuminated by hundreds of lights in a computer-controlled extravaganza that, since 1980, has been set to music. Visitors are enthralled by the constantly changing water, colored into kaleidoscopic rainbows. A half dozen times during the summer, fireworks are added to create the ultimate garden spectacle. The southern edge of Pierce's Woods is bordered by the large lake, originally a swampy area transformed with an earthen dam by the Pierce's into a scenic water feature. In the mid-19th century, George Washington Pierce developed the Arboretum into a pleasure ground, adding rowboats on the lake for guests and local residents. Picnics and parties were frequent social events. Pierre Dupont periodically dredged the lake, and it was incorporated into the golf course he had from 1917 until the early 1940s. In 1969, a love temple was added to create one of Longwood's most popular and photogenic views. The surrounding landscape includes moisture-loving perennials, shrubs, and small trees that complement the lakeside conditions. Yellow, orange, and red fall foliage from the slopes of Pierce's Woods is mirrored on the water during October. This is home to a diverse fauna including Canada geese, frogs, bluegills, and golden or fish. Continuing on the main path back around the Italian water garden, one comes to the small lake, sitting slightly higher than the nearby large lake. Always of interest are the bald cypress growing here. Their unusual knees may help support the trees in swampy conditions and store energy in the form of starch. Like the large lake, this spring-fed body of water has been enhanced to its current size by successive owners of the property. Connecting the small and large lakes is a picturesque stream that meanders down the slope into a grove of pond cypress. Installed in 1964 with a spring house added the following year, the stream was broadened in 1997 with numerous weirs and re-landscaped in 1998. Native azaleas nearby brighten spring with pastel color. A curiously named body of water, the Hourglass Lake, which was dug in 1959 in a naturally wet area and can be used as an irrigation reservoir. Today it harbors native fish such as largemouth bass and sunfish. Between the Mediterranean Garden and the Exhibition Hall is one of Longwood's most celebrated displays, the outdoor water lilies that flourish between June and October. Tucked into the courtyard are more than 100 types of day and night blooming tropical water lilies, hardy water lilies, lotus, giant water platters, and other aquatic and bog plants. The display was originally constructed in 1957, then redesigned in 1989 by Sir Peter Shepherd to accommodate a greater variety of plants. The water in the 30-inch deep pools is mixed with black dye to retard algae growth and to accentuate the plants. The giant water platters in the center pool were first successfully hybridized at Longwood in 1960. The two South American parent species grow in the smaller side pools. Gardeners raise the enormous hybrid water platters from seeds started in late February each year. 
By summer, plants can produce spiny, six-foot diameter leaves in a matter of weeks. Each fully grown leaf can support 80 to 100 pounds if the weight is evenly distributed. These unique hybrids have been shared with gardens worldwide. Longwoods Aquatics never fail to impress with their rainbow of luscious colors against dark water and blue sky. As the decades have passed, our legacy remains closely aligned with Pierre Dupont's love for water and fountains. With the completion of the revitalized main fountain garden, the continuous evaluation and expansion of our aquatic plant collection, and an array of nighttime activities, summer at Longwood is truly a magical experience. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the many water features that have made Longwood a destination for millions of visitors. We hope you can join us for a fountain show in the future, and we thank you for broadening your world by learning in ours.